it's Melissa here from Little Kosher Lunch and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm the mommy to two little girls and we are packing kosher style lunch boxes every day and I also am showing you content on this channel like holiday content for Hanukkah. So I hope you'll stick around and subscribe if you're new. Today I wanted to talk about a few ideas given that Hanukkah is really sneaking up on us this year. I am very pro uh, inexpensive, useful, consumable gifts that don't take up a lot of space. Today I wanted to share a few ideas, some you've seen before but they bear repeating and some are new for Hanukkah this year that will be easy gifts for you to pull off. The first ones are sort of child and baby related. One of the favorite things that I've shared with you in the past is my Hanukkah felt. And this is something that is so easy and inexpensive to pull off that I wanted to share it with you again and illustrate that just with a pair of like kitchen shears or sewing scissors and a few pieces of felt, you can cut out a simple Hanukkiah and little candles. I have lots of extras down here and flames. I made some latkes and a platter and a dreidel and some gelt and this is a set that children from 18 months on through preschool age really enjoy playing with I set it up on an easel I already own with a sheet of felt that I bought at the fabric or craft store this is a gift that you could make and give or make and mail for around five dollars you can also get a felt placemat and this is a nice thing for on an airplane if you're traveling for the holidays felt spending a lot of time on it but you just need to know about it if you are a crafty person I once went on a real bender and made bibs for everybody and I do these bibs for my children I can link the pattern for you but these are bibs that are backed in terry cloth and they have nice angles that really cover the shoulders of a baby and one year I made a whole bunch of Hanukkah bibs. If you're handy and you want to make some Hanukkah special things for a baby, go ahead and do that. Someone is going to love it and you can buy these types of things but these happen to be homemade and they were very special and I put a lot of love in them. A really nice thing to do at a Hanukkah party where kids are attending is either invite the children to bring their Hanukkah crafts and use those as decorations or you can bring a Hanukkah craft to the event. It's really nice for a child to like make a little Hanukkah something and take it home or show off something that they're really proud of. So here are some examples I've saved from past years just to give you inspiration. Pinterest is your best friend. There's lots of inspiration there. Little Hanukkah made out of a halved paper plate. This was a school craft with washi tape. We've done tin foil and doilies and jewels. And my favorite, of course, my favorite, be the shamash. I save these from year to year and I use them as decorations in our own home. In terms of going to other people's homes, I think a hostess gift is always nice to be prepared for. These are the ones I'm giving this year from Williams Sonoma. Their dish towels are just beautiful and these are pop-up sponges. So this is great if someone else is feeding you and doing the dishes, you at least could refresh their towels. I love giving stamps to people and these are the new Hanukkah stamps. They're forever stamps. So even if you stop up this year and save them for future years you would probably be making money if you have children who are receiving gifts for the holiday I think it's really important to send thank you notes and this makes thank you notes more fun for the child when they are themed appropriately with the holiday I've discussed these before but a Hanukkah play date kit is what I call these this is just a mason jar with gelt and dreidels and you can decorate it with a bow if you want to be fancy like me I've also taken our planet box you'd be very generous to gift a planet box but you could or you could just take your lunch box that you already own or a Tupperware that's divided and these I did for my children last year and they loved them you can do dreidel with gelt and dreidels you can do play-doh and make latkes and hanukkiahs or you can make a play-doh worm or long Hanukkah and physically 
put old Hanukkah candles in it and pretend that you're lighting the candles and sing the Hanukkah songs. For my daughters at least, this has been a lot of fun and it's cute and neat for them to take in their lunch bag to grandma's house or take to a friend's house over the holiday. So just repurposing items you have in a cute container can make Hanukkah activities happen. If you already do dreidel or you're just doing traditional dreidel where people are coming over and the dreidels are out, consider playing with real money. It is a tradition to give real money or real gout at Hanukkah time. And it's maybe more fun if it's an unusual coin. Your kids can learn about money this way. Even a roll of pennies is good enough. It's a little bit more high stakes for the child. Another tradition that I really like is to BYO Hanukkah. So these are some Hanukkiot that we own. So many families have historic or meaningful or really beautiful Hanukkiot that you might wanna see. So if you are hosting Hanukkah this year or if you have some say in someone else's Hanukkah party, why don't you suggest that everybody bring their own Hanukkiah if they have one. Your child can bring the one that they made at school and then you get to see everyone lighting the Hanukkiah together. It's more candles and more light. If you are giving a gift to a new couple or a new family, it is nice to gift a Hanukkiah. They range in price. My last tip for you today is oomphing up your supplies for Hanukkah by adding one small thing each year. So this year I am gifting myself Hanukkah related napkins. I bought these beautiful blue napkins today and these silver ones. And these are gonna go into my linen closet to be pulled out year after year and they set a beautiful sort of blue and white silver table. The other gift to give to a family with kids is the gift of a new Hanukkah book. If you subscribe or are a member of PJ Library which sends free Jewish books for children, then you may have some of these. There are some books though that are not sent out by PJ Library and there are ways to figure that out if you're looking to fill in the gaps for someone. One way of knowing it is if it's an expensive book because typically the PJ Library books are more low cost. So one of the ones that we received from friends was Hanukkah Bugs. It is a pull the tab, lift the flap book. It's just a little more elaborate. Here's one where the little shamash bug radiates light. And this has been a huge hit with my children. This is the grand finale. Ooh, that's the eighth night of Hanukkah. I just found the runaway latkes. I found it at the thrift store. So I pick these things up and I do have a special Judaica section of my children's book library. And these come out year after year. I pull them out in advance of the holidays so they can be ready and we can have a Hanukkah book each night of Hanukkah. Here are some other titles. I'll list them for you below, but the other way to find out if PJ Library sends them is they do publish a list on their website of what books are being mailed out. So you can check on that list to find inspiration and titles that you wanna purchase, or you can check against it to see if you're getting a book that they aren't gonna send. That is all for you. I have some other gift guides that I've done in the past, so I'll link those up for you, but I hope you have a really special holiday and much more than any of these gift ideas I really hope that you just do Hanukkah. For me, Hanukkah is about singing the songs, lighting the candles, eating latkes and other fried foods. That's what's really important, I think, and getting caught up in the materialism, much less important. So if you can keep it simple, more power to you. And thank you so much for your time. I hope to see you back here on my channel soon. Bye-bye.